Well, deaths reported in the county rose by 28% through 2020. That was one of the findings in the Pima County Medical Examiner's annual report. So was a large increase due to COVID-19? News 4 2 Sons Daniel McFarland joining us live with the answer. Daniel, what are you learning tonight? Priscilla, they actually released a report in December that was really focused on the pandemic and the effect of the coronavirus on the deaths in Pima County. Now the official report has been released for the entire year of 2020. And what they found was an increase in not only obviously coronavirus deaths, but also overdose deaths. Pima County's new report shows that mortality was up in 2020. But Pima County has an average of um, about uh, 10,500 or so deaths a year. Uh, and it's been pretty steady for the past few years. In 2020, we were at 13,600 and some. Most of that can be attributed to the pandemic. This may sound bad, but there were some positives in the report. Suicide rates in Pima County are also down. Dr. Francisco Garcia, the chief medical officer of Pima County, said the decrease in suicides is encouraging, but any number other than zero is a tragedy. The 33% decline in suicides in the 20 to 29 age group is significant and inspires hope. As a community, we need to continue to invest in the resources to provide support and outreach to minimize these avoidable deaths. Overdose deaths made up a small number of suicides, but as a whole, overdose deaths are up across the board thanks to a new drug that has become more widely used in the past decade. And we really had a big uh, contribution from fentanyl. So we went from about five fentanyl deaths in 2014 to 207 in 2020. Dr. Hess also expects a high number for coronavirus deaths on next year's report, mostly due to our high numbers this last January. So I imagine the 2021 total mortality will be skewed high as well. It, I don't know if it'll be as high as 2020. And, and so that is going to be for the 2020 report next year. It does seem like the deaths that we had in January from coronavirus are going to play very big into it. But then after it, we should start to stabilize a little bit. But overall, we are likely to see the numbers increase just because Arizona's population is going to be increasing over the next few years as well. We've got you covered from the medical examiner's office. Daniel McFarland, News 4 Tucson.